Frank, how y'all feeling? Good. 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 What's up, everyone? We're here at the Steinway Street subway station, and I'm going to be doing a walk of Astoria, Queens. It's Thursday, March 30th, 2023, almost 1 o'clock p.m., and it's 41 Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius. We just saw a pair of very talented musicians riding the train. This subway station is served by the M and R trains. There's two exits to Broadway, to the left and to the right. Where I'm exiting right now is the north side of the street. Steinway Street has a lot of history, going back to when the Steinway family built their village and piano factory at the northern end of Astoria. We'll be seeing a lot of uh, shops, retail, and restaurants all along Steinway Street. I always found this car sticking out above the uh, street very interesting. Here's a restaurant called El Basarero Restaurant and Bar. Translated as the junkyard. It seems pretty active along Steinway Street at this time.
This food truck across the street is the staple of Steinway Street. The Habiba Bob Halal Cart. Or Halal Truck. Here's a new spot that opened in Astoria, the German Donner Kebab. It's Chipotle. So, Rayo, Rayo, who won that fight? Because that was the other part. There's GameStop across the street. That's been there for a long time. Steinway Pizza. There was a publisher called the New York Eater that recommended this place for the top 10 pizza slices to try this season. And they recommended the white slice. It's actually been a while since I've been to uh, this pizzeria and tried it. But it's $4.50 for the white slice. Uh, regular, it looks like it's all faded out. We can't see the price. That's a good price if you come during that time. Seven to ten, three ninety nine all smoothies. Sad to see that the Prince Tea House closed up and never uh, reopened again. It's for rent now. It's actually a really good uh, tea house that started from Flushing, Queens. The Red District. Cafe de Colombia too. Great desserts and drinks in there, as well as lunch specials.
looks like the fruit stand across the street covered all their produce. Trying to protect it from the weather. Puka restaurant. Maldel Sporting Goods has been long gone now, but I guess they're renovating the interior now. Beautiful looking spa. You know, this is pretty interesting. They have secret Thai street food. Looks like it's in the back. And Hope's Market, Mexican products. There's a Thai street food spot in the back of that market. Something I may have to check out. Cannabis shops have really been popping up quite frequently. This store used to be Sprint, but Sprint got bought out by T-Mobile. Here we have a long-standing institution here in Astoria, Rizzo's Fine Pizza since 1959. One slice and a drink is 
Sounds like a good deal to me. It's been here a long time. Hey, the legendary Rizzo's. Kinship Cafe. Nice decor inside. Now I'm going to turn on 30th Avenue going westbound. I would say this is the busiest street in Astoria, especially for restaurants. There's a Parisian bakery and cafe here called the Paris Oven. Looks good. I just saw some croissants in the back. There's a Asian fusion restaurant coming soon, Zen Astoria, and they're hiring. Before this used to be a Greek grocery store. Glen Astoria is pretty popular, next to Peter Pan. Good place for some Greek food and Sugar Freak for your Louisiana homestyle cooking. Butcher Bar is great if you want some meats. They've got a special too. $12.99, any smoked barbecue meat and two fresh sides. Dine and take out or delivery. Review by the New York Times and Zagat. Andrew Belushi's Pizzeria, $3 classic New York slice. That uh, pizzeria oftentimes gets rated very highly. Burrito Boulevard Mexican Grill. Well, you know what you told me? It's over a year now. Our policy is you have to pay. I don't like that at all. But... Crave it pizza and sandwich joints. This place is really known for its outrageous pizza creations, putting all kinds of toppings, anything you want, on top of a pizza. Here's tea swirl crepe, also with a lunch special. Any of the following crepes for $13.99 with an ice fruit tea. 
This is the Brooklyn Bagel Company. I think this is one of the best bagel places in Queens, or in the city rather. Korean fried chicken spot. Here's Antica, which is known for their brick oven pizza. Pink Nori Sushi Bar. Gluten free options available. Gyro World slash Euro World. Excellent spot for the Greek food. Italian grocery store, Dave and Tony. Rudy's Hobby Store is still around. Probably the oldest business in Astoria. At least on this uh, immediate area. I love the design of this fish market. Grand Avenue Pizza with cauliflower pizza crust available now. This is a reference to the street's old name, Grand Avenue, before it got renamed. Here's Mochiron Restaurant. Spot for lease. Indian restaurant. Ovelia restaurant is excellent. La Cabana grocery store. They also sell tacos and other Mexican foods in the back. Pochan, Pochana Thai Kitchen. They also have a few lunch specials too. El Fornayo Bakery Due. There's the United Brothers Fruit Markets, open 24 hours. I'm going to check out 
the corner of Newtown uh, Avenue there and 30th Avenue, the Nisi Restaurant. This restaurant is fairly new. Let's check out their menu and their pricing. Looks like it's a Greek restaurant. Hey, I'm going to have to try this one day. Here's Namaste Indian restaurant. They also have a lunch special. Athena's Nails is closed for renovations right now. Open April 2nd. There's a well-known uh, nail salon. On the corner here used to be a seafood market, but the entire building's been knocked down. I don't know what they're gonna build uh, over here. Well, we could find out with the picture. Mixed use, work in progress. That's what frequently happens now. These old buildings are knocked down. Here's Trade Fair Supermarkets across the street. They also own the corner now. Used to be a uh, cafe on the corner. I think it was called Tasty Cafe, but they're no longer around. This used to be 7-Eleven. They closed a while ago. Nothing's been here ever since. 
And across the street here is Athens Square Park. I guess we could wrap the video up here. New place coming across the street called Every Table. They mark themselves as having affordable, great tasting foods. Basically like a grab and go place. This used to be a bank, but it's been knocked down. Now another building is going up. Athens Square Park Playground. This statue of Athena was gifted by the city of Athens, the people of Greece, to New York City. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoy this walkthrough of Astoria, Queens. I want to thank you all for watching today. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.